Amber, wow. Um, it's great to meet you. And I, we have a lot to get through. So I'm going to jump right into it. First, say congratulations. What, what an amazing film. What a powerful role. And we're going to start there with your character, Naru. I am not going to mess with her. She holds her own. And I, I guess we'll start with that question. How proud are you of a character like this being in a movie like this? Oh, uh, I'm really, thank you. Cause you know, obviously that was the goal for Dan and I was to be able to create a character like this, but you don't know until you hear people say stuff like that. So for the response to be so positive and so amazing is, uh, fills my heart. Well, you, your facial expressions, and we're going to break down the filming here in a minute, the intensity of it all. Um, what, what, okay, well, what was most difficult, though, about this role? Was it the physicality? Was it the challenge of, of becoming, you know, you, you should be, I'm not going to ruin anything. I'm no spoilers, but, but obviously, but, you know, there is a terrifying element to this, to this character, uh, to this movie, but you're tough. Was that difficult? Was it the physicality? What was the most challenging for you? The physicality was a part of it that I weirdly enough did not expect. <laughs> I somehow knew that this was an action movie, but I think this type of action or something was different than any action that I had done before because it was just so real. Like we were just really out there in the woods running up and down hills. I was like the river sequence. We were there for like a week and this was glacial runoff water. <laughs> from the mountains in Canada did not matter that it was summertime it was freezing and I was there you know like everything like the mud pit was just like actual some kind of like sewer sludge like it was every there was not a day that I showed up to work that there was not some kind of incredible <laughs> hill for me to climb uh but it was like the adventure of a lifetime it was so much fun that's actually where I came up with the question what that particular scene I'm like that. Just there's no way that's fake. And then Which your director part? confirmed your con your director confirmed it for him. He said the mud pit. Yeah. Well, everything. The scouting. He said when we uh, were trying to find the locations, the exteriors. He goes, it, we we went. I, he goes, I put the cast through a lot. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you know you you blame him, but no, it had to be authentic. All right, I want to talk about the dialogue because what I love. Your producer, Jane, I asked her, uh, we talked about this, the fact that there is an option to watch this in the Comanche language. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me about filming that part of it. Um, it was great to be able to, I mean, we're, we've are we dubbed the whole film in Comanche. So that is now an option that people will be able to have on release day, the first time they ever see it. You can watch mm -hmm. it in English or you can watch it in full Comanche and every actor does their own dubbing. So it's not the voice of some other random person. Like when you hear me talk, it's me. When you hear Dakota, when you hear anybody else, it's them. And we're the first film to ever do that upon release, which is very exciting. But also shooting, I mean, we did our test auditions. We had scenes in English and the same scene in Comanche because at that point they also didn't know if the movie was going to be shot in Comanche or in English. So we were kind of like test guinea pigs, I guess. Mm -hmm. And ultimately they decided to shoot in English, but it was always a thought of trying to like incorporate on the fly, like how much Comanche can we get in there and just saying, well, what is the word for this? What is the word for that? Maybe we can add some Comanche here, stuff like that. So it was always very, very present, which obviously made Jane super essential and helpful to have around. Dakota, great to meet you, man. Hey, great to meet you, Dave. Glad to be here. And I, I am your newest Instagram follower. I followed, started following you. I said I'm going to talk to him today. I got to, I have to get to know this guy, man. Dope. Uh, dude, I want to hear some of your music too. So I, I'm definitely oh. going to, I'm going to go down that path as well. But Thank man, you. so tell me, is this your first feature film? Yes. Yeah, this is my first time uh, acting, really. But uh, I enjoyed. I've always wanted to do it. Dude, congratulations. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you um, so much. Phenomenal. All right. That being said, what surprised you about the experience? Because for me, tons of action. I just talked to your director. 
and your producer, and they were talking about the adrenaline, the action, the outdoors, uh, you know, even scouting the locations was something. But for you, what surprised you about this filming experience? Um, I couldn't believe whenever I got there, how many people are involved with shooting, uh, you know, a feature film like this, you know, and to be, you know, the number two on that project. I mean, it just blows my mind every day. You see, you, you look at this casting call and there's like 400 people on that thing. And you're like, and then you see your name in the second. And you're like, holy crap, this is wild, <laughs> man. I couldn't believe it. Um, I can. And I, I know why they got you because you're great and you're just oh. so authentic and, and, and this has to be credible story. The predator, you know, series, what did you know about the predator series before getting signing on to this? You know, the first one was basically my extent of the extent of my knowledge. Um, obviously I loved Arnold and, you know, uh, the whole gang, you know, Billy on there. Uh, I thought that was great, but I, I hadn't really dove into the franchise in general, but, once I realized what I was auditioning for, once, you know, I didn't really know what I was auditioning for until I, you know, went to LA to, to do the this, this screen reading, but uh, I was just so fired up. What was it like to film? Um, and I want to get it from your perspective as well. You know, the, a lot, I would imagine a lot of outdoors. Uh, it was, I would imagine extremely physical based on what I saw, but you know, you're, you're this, you're one of the stars of the film. Tell me what that was like. Oh, it was so cool. I mean, we shot in some beautiful locations. You know, we shot a lot out on the Stony Dakota Res up there in Alberta and uh, um, a couple other locations. But it was just so nice to wake up and go somewhere beautiful and just spend the day out there as opposed to, you know, being st I mean, stuck in a studio somewhere, I'm sure, shooting indoors and you don't know what day it is. I, I enjoyed every part of it. One of the things I find interesting, I was talking to Jane, your, uh, your producer, you know, the fact that she's extremely proud of the fact that on Hulu, you'll be able to get a version where you can watch it just in the Comanche language, which I think is just really cool. Did you all, how did you film that? Uh, how did you do that? Tell me what that was like. Did you have to learn, you know, yeah, so, your lines? Tell me about that. So uh, we, uh, we recorded a, a dub of it. Um, so originally we were gonna, we were, they were talking about shooting the entire movie in Comanche. Um, so I auditioned uh, in English and Comanche. And then um, they decided to shoot the English version and then dub it with all the original actors uh, in Comanche, which which I thought was really great, not only because I'm kind of a language buff, I, I enjoy uh, looking at languages and, and learning more about them, but also um, keep having that there for the preservation of the language and for the younger generation to kind of go there and, and, and learn more in a fun way. You know, a feature film with all these action and blood and gore, uh, I think, it, I think it's just nice nice to have that there for other people. Dan and Jane, great to meet you both. Congratulations. Uh, you scared me. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And Dan, actually, I'm going to start with you. All right. So uh, I'm reading my notes here. The fifth installment in the Predator franchise, but definitively, I want to get the answer from you. And you know where I'm about to go. Is I've seen it written as a prequel. Is it a prequel? I've also seen it written. It's not a prequel and it's a standalone. What say you? Oh, I, you know, technically speaking, it is a prequel in that it is 300 years before um, the first original movie is set. The only reason why I at one point specified I don't, I, we haven't really been calling it prequel is I think that when people hear that, there's a connotation to expect that this is going to be the origin story of the Predator. And it is not that, uh, as you now know. So... I knew you would be the expert. We've got that out of the way. Excellent. I'm going to get back to you in a second about filming some of these scenes. Uh, and that's going to be some fun stuff. But Jane, I want to know something that I love and find very interesting about this movie is people will have the option to watch this with the Comanche language being used. And I hear that. I heard that in the, in the movie version, even that I watched. Tell me how, how that decision was made and really uh, your thoughts on it, because I think it's amazing. First time it's ever been done. Absolutely. First time it's ever been done for my tribe. I'm an enrolled member of the Comanche Nation. But Dan, when he first wrote this, always intended for it to be in the Comanche language. And that's the way it was pitched to the studio. But the good thing about it being on Hulu is that we were able to go back into post and dub it in Comanche. And it's really, I, I mean... 
I can't really compare it to anything because I've never done this before, but it's amazing because it's not like Godzilla where you hear the people speaking English and their mouths are doing something else. So we've tailored the language to, uh, to fit the film and uh, it's amazing. So for me as a, as a Comanche producer, woman, tribal member, I mean, it's a legacy. It's amazing. That's so cool. I, I just, I absolutely love, I love that about this movie amongst other things. And Dan, we're going to break those down right now. I want to know about the adrenaline level that you had as a director, you know, filming this. There's a lot of exterior shots, obviously a lot of action uh, without spoiling it. The second part of the question is what can you tell us about, you know, the scenes filming the predator? This movie, you know, when you're making a movie, you're, when, when you're trying to make movies, you always have a lot of things in development as a director. Um, and when this, of all the projects I've been trying to work on, got the green light, I was at one moment, like, pumping my fist in the air, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're making this movie. And then the other breath, I was like, oh no, this one? Um, because we had to strap on snowshoes um, to scout locations and cross rivers to get to set. And uh, it was a pretty, all at a higher elevation than, than I'm used to. Um, so it was an adventure just to make the movie for sure. Um, and filming with the Predator was simultaneously um, exciting and scary. You know, standing in front of that creature is you know you're it's all work what you're doing and it's hard to really feel um scared whenever you're making a horror movie or a thriller of any kind because you're seeing the nuts and bolts of everything but when you stand in front of that creature um i went right back to being 10 years old and was just like totally terrified looking up at it um but on the other hand, you know, it is arduous and it's challenging. And um, our our actor, uh, Dane Delegro had to um, wear, because of the, the way that the suit works, the head is actually uh, resting on top of, his, the predator's head is resting on top of his head. Um, so when it's looking forward, he's looking down so he can't ever see where he's going. Um, and he's carrying all that weight on his neck it's really, really challenging. I um, knew. At one point I, I, I embraced him after a good take and I was covered, covered with, with water. Um, and I was like, oh gosh, I really sprayed you down. Cause they, sometimes we spray him down to look slick and reptilian. And they said, no, they didn't spray me down. That's my sweat uh, that was soaked through the suit. Um, so it was horrific in many ways. I knew this was going to be a fun conversation. Thank you both for your time. Thank you for this film. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. Let's do more. You, there needs to be more. Seriously. I'm with you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. This movie's excellent. It's a thriller. I I, I loved it. And, Thank and it's you just so, much. so good. You're, you're, you just rocked this. Oh. And I love what you represent for, you know, with this particular character. She holds her own. And that's Thank important you so to see. Much. Dakota, great to meet you again. And um, seriously, I'm going to check out your tunes, man. I, I really want to, I want to, I want to, I want to check you out on the music side. Uh, as you can see, I also do radio and actually this oh, is yeah. going to be on, this is going to be on 106.1 Kiss FM in Dallas, iHeartRadio. So this interview as well. So we got to talk about some music. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Thank you so much, Dave. I really appreciate it, brother. All right, brother. We'll talk, we'll talk in person next time for sure. Definitely. Sounds good. Yeah. You See you it. later. 